In today's session, we're going to be taking a look at how you can bring a 3D asset from Maya into the Apple Vision Pro for a spatial experience. And just be warned, we're about to get weird with it. All right, so let's get into it. So inside of Maya, I created the simplest thing I could imagine, which was a sphere just floating in space. I thought it'd be great to bring this into my Apple Vision Pro. Uh, I try and keep things as simple as possible when first testing, and I highly recommend doing the same because what's happening otherwise is you create a ton of variables that just overcomplicate the process for yourself. So I want to just start with the sphere. I also have a very weird brain that likes to get weird with things. So I was like, what's the weirdest thing I could do with this sphere? So I went to the Adobe Substance Asset Library and what I found was this alien growth jaws. So it is a fleshy kind of toothy eyeball-y asset that I wanna bring in and I wanna put this on my sphere and I wanna bring that into my home office. So here we are, we got this set up. And now if you wanna see the controls that we have on this, I could open up this web player. So inside this web player, you can see that I've got all kinds of different um, skin color, flesh color, crevice color that you can adjust. You can enable and disable teeth or change the teeth color. You can change the eyes. I can make this a zombie eye if I want. And I can also do things like control the number of eyes. So you can either turn this mask all the way up and you've got that, or you can turn it down and you can see that the eyes just start popping up on this. So a real chance to do some really weird animations on it as well. So I was super excited about this. And so what I did was I downloaded it and I brought it into Maya. Now, if you want all of those same parametric controls, all those slider and drop down controls, Maya has a really simple way of working with the substance files, the SBSARs. If you haven't done it before, I'll just show you that real quick. So you'd want to jump into your hypershade, um, get a clean window over here. And then in the built-in of Maya now, you have substance, the substance plugin essentially that comes along with it. So you just wanna take the substance node, create one of those, and inside the substance node, you'll see load substance. So I can simply navigate here and find the SBSAR file that I downloaded. And here it is, we've got our alien growth jaw that I wanna bring in, so I'll just double click that. We can bring it inside of my here. Now if we scroll down, we can see I've got all of those same slider controls. So I might wanna change the zombie eye, I can change the mask or whatever you wanna do from there. Additionally, the extra super awesome best part of this is that it goes ahead and sets up whatever renderer you're working with, it'll set up a shading network for that. So for this one, I'm just gonna use a standard surface, but if you're using Arnold, V-Ray, RenderMan, whatever, it will set up a workflow. So to do that, you just highlight it and click create network. And this goes ahead and builds out an entire network here for you, which you can then adjust and go and do your thing. So one of the things that I said was I really wanted to uh, animate the eyes coming on. So I really wanted to animate this eye mask uh, by setting it as one thing and then scaling up to another so that eyes get revealed or whatever as it's spinning around in my room. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out how to export an animated texture in a USD file yet, but that'll be something I'll explore in a different avenue. But I did figure out how to export some geometry that's animated. So I went ahead and spun this sphere around because nothing's weirder than a rotating orb in your room with eyeballs and teeth and stuff. So I went ahead and did that. So I'll just render this out real quick so you can see what we're working with. Again, eyeballs on a sphere, awesome. So now the next step is I want to export this into a file format that Apple understands, that the Vision Pro will understand. That is a USDZ file type. So Maya has early workings of a USD exporter Everything that I've seen um, indicates that this is still beta. I think the number on it is like 0.6 like or whatever, which indicates that they're still working on it. But if you export your object, you can see down here at the bottom, we've got a USD export. And what I can do is I can go through this, check all my settings here. I really wanna make sure animation data is turned on so it gets that full animation. And then I wanna export this and we will just call this eyeball and export that selection. Awesome. So now all that, that, that animation data, all that's baked in and we can go over here and be like, okay, cool. We've got this USDZ, but again, Apple needs a USDZ file format. So from there, what I want to do is I want to import a, uh, I want to bring that USDZ or USD file into reality Conver converter. This is Apple's tool that converts traditional 
you know, FBX, OBJ, USD files into their USDZ file type. So I can just drag and drop that in here and immediately you're gonna get some errors. I really side do. And um, I, I, you know, at first I was like, oh, it didn't work. Okay, what happened? And I, I, I didn't check the error message, which is always a good place to start. And all it is, is it just doesn't have the adequate permissions to access these, uh, these files. So I'm just gonna click through these and say, okay, go ahead and do it, go ahead and do it. And one of the bummer parts is this actually doesn't work, which I'll show you here in just a second. But the second you go through these and give them permission to access these files on this part of my computer somewhere, um, it, that's all it needs to, to initially get loaded. Now, again, I'm sure there's a better way of, of doing this. I just haven't figured it out yet. But you can see that like, even though I like enable the base color, it's still not connecting. So I'll just click this again, say, okay, base color. Um, there's a metallic map in here as well. Uh, roughness, there's no emissives, so I don't, won't have to worry about that. Roughness, and my normal map, and my occlusion map. Okay, so I've got all the right maps on there, so you can see that here. I can also click this play button down here in the corner. You can see it playing and rotating the way that we want. Um, we can also take a look up here and right click, and now I can export this as a USDZ. So I'm just gonna go ahead and export the eyeball here. And now you can see I've got this USDZ file and it is ready to go. So now I'm gonna hop over into the Apple Vision Pro and take you the rest of the way from there. All right, so here we are inside the Apple Vision Pro. I've connected it to my laptop and you can see now I've got this USDZ file. I can simply right click it, go to share, airdrop, and I will not send it to my wife or my mom who's visiting. I will send it directly to me. I don't want anyone else to have to see that. And here we are. So now I've got the um, little sphere that I just scale it up a little bit. All right, amazing. Just place that right in the middle of my ring here. All right, and just like that, I have a USDZ of my super weird sphere spinning in my room always and forever eyeballing me, just judging my choices, and it's perfect. So again, this USDC file is extremely universal. It can go on any Apple device. Like you could, like I said, I could have airdropped it to my wife's phone and she could have opened it there and you can view a 3D model from there. So that's it. I am just going to uh, sit here with this guy in my office for the rest of the day, thinking about all the choices I've made in my life that have led me to this moment. All right, so that is it. That is how you get a 3D asset from Maya into the Apple Vision Pro. It's not a fully formed workflow yet, and there's probably things that I'm still learning and I'm going to develop and Maya will be releasing and USD will be updating as we go forward. As things change, I will continue making these videos and adding more weird things to my office. Uh, so make sure you come back and check that out. Um, in the meantime, if there are things that I missed, things that you'd like to see, make sure you throw those in the comments down below. If you want to learn more about Substance, I have an entire Substance courses as part of my channel. Uh, but in the meantime, like I said, let me know what you want to see. I'll keep making these videos. I'll keep filling my office with the weirdest of weird things. And until next time, enjoy yourselves. All right, be good, everyone.